Hi everyone, today's evening headlines. Enian urges farmers to revive millet farming, balancing work and breastfeeding. Nagaland needs human milk bank, says pediatrician. Nagaland sanctioned Rs. 333.62 crore for 17 projects under NEI-SIDS. NSF expresses concern over long-term negative impact of oil palm cultivation on Nagaland. Crucial Manipur Assembly session to begin on August 21. News in details. NEN urges farmers to revive millet farming, expounding that millet has played an important role in the food culture and livelihood of the Nagas. The coordinator of Northeast Network, Vikavya Suha, urged the people to reintegrate millet back into the food and farming system, saying, A part of our culture is lost with the loss of a crop. Suha stated this during the third millet festival held at Shamadur Public Ground on August 5. The festival was organized by the Self-Employed Women's Association, Millet Network of India, Department of Agriculture and Northeast Network on the theme, Millets for Community Resilience. Balancing work and breastfeeding, Nagaland needs human milk banks, says pediatrician. Women should not have to choose between breastfeeding their children and their work is what the World Health Organization is campaigning this World Breastfeeding Week on the theme Let's Make Breastfeeding and Work Work. This year's theme advocates providing essential maternity rights that support breastfeeding. Maternity leave for a minimum of 18 weeks, ideally more than 6 months and workplace accommodation after this point. These are urgent issues for ensuring that women can breastfeed as long as they wish to. Nagaland sanctioned Rs. 333.62 crore for 17 projects under NEI-SIDS. Under the Northeast Special Infrastructure Development Scheme, since its inception in 2017-18, the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region has sanctioned a total of Rs. 333.62 crore to Nagaland for 17 projects. This was informed by the Union Minister of DONER, G. Kisan Reddy, in a written reply in the Rajya Safa on Thursday. DONER approved 145 projects totaling Rs. 3,392.99 crore for the region, including 33 projects worth Rs. 880.82 crore for the state of Assam, making it the highest beneficiary under NEI-SIDS. Following closely is Arunachal Pradesh with 29 projects sanctioned, amounting Rs. 623.87 crore. NSF expresses concern over long-term negative impact of oil palm cultivation on Nagaland. The Naga Students Federation has expressed concern over the possible long-term negative impact the commercial cultivation of oil palm could have on the health, forest, biodiversity and quality of soil in Nagaland. The Federation in a press release stated that it is a known fact that the Union Cabinet has allocated Rs. 11,040 crore for the National Mission on Edible Oils, Oil Palm with a focus on Northeastern State and the Andaman Nicobar Island. Crucial Manipur Assembly Session to begin on August 21. In wake of demands from various circles including the opposition's Congress, the Manipur government has decided to convene an assembly session from August 21. An official said that the state cabinet has recommended to Governor Anusya Yuki for summoning the fourth session of the 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly on August 21. Political circles said that it is obvious that the ongoing ethnic violence and related issues would be discussed in the session. The Congress Legislator Party led by former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh on July 26 met the Governor and demanded to convene a special session of the Assembly under Article 174.1 of the Constitution. That's all for now. To guess the status, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.